Hey everyone, it's Rylan and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another horror movie doll review. Today I have a good guy's Chucky doll from Mezco Toys. By the way, if you're new here, what's going on? My name's Rylan and I like to review a lot of horror movie stuff and Disney stuff. So if you want to, you can subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button right down there. All right, so let's start with an overview of the box. So the box is yellow. It definitely looks like the good guy's doll boxes that we saw in the original Child's Play and in Child's Play 2. I'll never forget the ending scene of Child's Play 2 when they're in the factory. Such an epic scene. It does say, I can talk, and it looks like we have a border of red going along. We have a window right here, and we can see Chucky right there. Something I was a little bit concerned about with this was the paint on the eyes, but so far... From what I'm seeing, it looks pretty darn good. And later on, we'll actually put a macro lens in, so we're going to get really up close to the doll itself and see all those fine details that Mezco did. And then down here, it does say, good guys, Chucky. And something really neat is that the Y, or the bottom of the Y, kind of looks like blood dripping. And it does say, he wants you for a best friend friend. Right there at the bottom in blue. Can you see that? Sorry, my lights are pretty intense. It does say for ages 15 and up, and it says, warning, choking hazard, small parts, not for children under three years. On the side, it says, good guys, Chucky. He wants you for a best friend. And we have Chucky in different poses. Looks like he's a cowboy in the army, a doctor, and then a baseball player. <laughs> That's so funny. And then over here, we have, ooh, a very, very nice photograph of the doll. And then on the bottom, it does say, good guys, Chucky, he wants you for a best friend. They keep on saying he wants you for a best friend. So it says Child's Play 2. Oh, I didn't realize that this was like for Child's Play 2. That's pretty neat because I, I love Child's Play 2. It says, hi, I'm Chucky. Want to play? Chucky comes to terror-stricken life after a voodoo ritual traps the spirit of the infamous serial killer, the Lakeshore Strangler, into a formerly harmless doll. Now a sinister possessed doll with an ominous agenda, Chucky has become one of the most recognizable horror icons and now you can own one complete with four movie accurate phrases. Always cheerful and ready for horrifying fun. The good guys 15 inch Chucky doll is a must have for any Chucky fan. Here we have another photograph of the Chucky doll that Mezco Toys has done and it says here actual phrases from the movie. So I think you can actually, it says try me, so you can actually push a button in there and it will um, let's see, I think it'll say like two phrases. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Alright, that's the first one. Okay, so that's the second one. Now let's see if they do any other ones. So no, so I'm sure that when we actually debox this Chucky doll, we'll be able to hear the other two phrases. And then on the very top of the box, just say good guys Chucky, and let's see if there's anything on the bottom that's specific. Nope, not really, just the Mezco Toys logo right there, and the barcode number. I paid, I think, $79.99 for this. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll definitely put all of the information in the description box below, as well as the link of where you can get this. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get this doll out of the box, and we are going to see this good guy's Chucky doll in more detail. So hang on one second. Now before we go ahead and get the doll completely out of the box, it did come with instructions and it says to turn a switch in the back of Chucky to on instead of try me. So that's why we only had two phrases being said is because it's on try me mode. And then it also says that there are six phrases which I think is wrong because on the back of the box it said four. But I don't know, we're just going to have to test that out when we get the doll out of the box. And then also note everyone, this red packaging. So cool against the doll. Amazing. All right, enough of me talking. Let's get this doll out of the box completely. Hold on one second again. Okay, all right. Mesco Toys. I'm liking this Chucky doll. It's pr pretty darn cool out of the box. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to test the phrases that are being said, and then we can get into all the details about the doll, like the paintwork, the outfit, everything, everything, everything. So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to turn him around. Hi, I'm Chucky! Ah! <laughs> and we are going to open up this part of his back. So it's a snap button and we see the speaker right there. And then it does say try me right here and then on. So let's switch that to on. Let's go ahead and turn him around. All right, so let's go ahead and see what this Chucky doll says. Ready? Okay, let me position the arms. Here we go. So the first phrase is... Where's the button? Boo. Okay, so there was boo. Alright, next one. Hi, I'm Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. Heidi Ho! <laughs> oh, so creepy. Next one. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Okay, next one. And that's three so far. 
I'll be back. Remember, on the back it said four, and then on the paper it said six, so let's see. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that was the lab. So that was the fifth one. So there's a definitely an error on the back because it says four, but it really has six. All right, so here's the last one. All right, now let's hear that boo one more time because I feel like I didn't hear it well enough. I think um, I think that any Chucky fan would love this. I think any Chucky, for uh, someone that's afraid of Chucky, would absolutely be terrified of this doll because I'm not gonna lie, when it was laughing, I was like, uh. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and give you all a look at the doll from afar, and we are going to switch lenses. The hair is a little crazy. But then again, Chucky is a crazy doll. I love the overalls, I love the colors, very movie accurate. I love the good guy sign on the front pocket right here. We have these buttons right here as well. I cannot wait to seriously get more of these Mezco Toys dolls. They're so cool, so cool. And then we have these sculpted shoes on. Let's see, okay, so um, let's do some points of articulation. Looks like the ankles are articulated, the knees are not, but the legs are, the arms are, and the wrist, and then the head. Something I love about these Mezco Toys dolls is that the head pivot really, really well. So even if I just like have them sit down like this, let's see. Here, watch how much this head pivots. So good, so you can really use this for like photography, like use the fact that it pivots so much. Um, in your pictures to kind of make it, you know, creepy if he's like looking at you like, Hey, how's it going? Hi, I'm Chucky, <laughs> and I'm your friend to the end. Heidi ho! <laughs> and then you can like turn it this way and then do both arms up. Let's see what this one is. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and switch to a macro lens and we are going to get really up close to this guy's face and we are going to check out all the paintwork. We're going to get really close to the outfit and see the detail and yeah, it's like my favorite part of all my reviews. So hang on one moment, I'll be right back with Chucky up close. Macro lens is in and we are up close to the Chucky doll. Now let's take a look at the eye paint. So the eyes are super blue. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Let me go ahead and turn down my lights just a little bit so you can see how blue they actually are. So the paintwork is really well done. Honestly, I don't see uh, much error at all. Even the eyebrows up here are well done. The eyelashes, the freckles on his face. Let me go ahead and turn up that light. There we go. The freckles on the face, super well done. The creases on the eyelids, well done as well. The lips with the two front teeth kind of coming in. The hair is rooted into the doll's head. And the hair is kind of soft. There are some frays for sure, which I can definitely fix after I finish this review. But overall, the hair feels pretty good. Not too much glue. Here is the back of the doll's head. Just needs a nice little brush. Chucky has a... Uh, had a hard time finding that soul to steal. Now let's go ahead and look at Chucky's outfit. This is extremely movie accurate, like I mentioned earlier. We have the Good Guys logo right there. Those red buttons, like I mentioned earlier. Check out all the colors of the striped shirt. We have the ribbed end of the sleeve right here. The hands. Everything about this doll is creepy just because Chucky is a very, very scary, scary movie. If, if Especially if you hate dolls, which is funny because I love dolls and even this doll kind of creeps me out. Here is the other hand, like I said earlier, lots of movement, lots of articulation. We have the ribbed collar right here as well. I think these are two separate pieces. Yes, they are. So, oh my gosh. Oops. <laughs> Let's just wait for that to pass. Alright, <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> what a moment. Alright, now as we move down, we can see all the little graphics that they have put on to the denim overalls. Looks like we have some hammers, and we have a helmet, some saws right down here. Oh, we have like a shotgun right there, and looks like it's like a doctor's thing that they use to uh, listen to your heartbeat. Oh, I forget what they're called. And uh, on the bottom of the pants, we have that same striped pattern that we saw up here on the top of Chucky's outfit. And then let's take a look at the shoes. Like I mentioned earlier, they are sculpted on. I think it would have been nice if we got some real shoes, maybe some like real laces. I think that would have been a nice touch, but you know, you gotta put your money in certain places, and I feel like they definitely did a good job with 
with the everything else. I mean, this really doesn't bother me. I'm just saying, like, it would have been really cool if we got some some real shoes. And the shoes are a dark red color, and the laces are white, and then here are the bottom of the shoes. It does say, good guys. So, a great attention to detail. They really didn't even need to add the bottom part of the shoe there, but they did. So, overall, I love this doll. I'm super happy to have it, and I'm super happy to add it to my horror movie doll collection. Alright, let's do one more phrase. Well, that pretty much wraps up today's review and unboxing of the Mezco Toys 15-inch Good Guys Chucky doll. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and give me a big thumbs up so that I know that you like this kind of stuff. I wonder how many subscribers I have lost from posting this Chucky doll review because I know uh, for some people Chucky doll is... Very, very, very frightening. But I feel like we are really building a good community on my channel. People that really do enjoy horror movie stuff and Disney stuff. And that's the type of stuff that I love. So I'm glad to have you here if you're still here. Peace and love for me here in Los Angeles, California. Remember to be yourself because everyone else is already taken. And I'll definitely see you all in my next review and unboxing. You all have an awesome day and have fun collecting what you love. Bye-bye.